Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to make clear so that members of the chamber understand that the mayor of the city of Rochester has made very clear, members of the school board have made very clear, members of city council have made clear, and I believe Mr. Gant, and certainly on my own behalf, we all want the city of Rochester to have quality schools. The schools that I attended are over 80 years old. They do need major rehab. There is nobody that doesn't want phase two to happen. The question is, when should it happen and under what circumstances? I hope we can all agree, in light of the audit report, that we don't want phase two to wind up like phase one. There's only one way that we ensure that on a going forward basis, this work is done right. And that is to allow the investigations to play out, to see where the mistakes were made, who made them, so that when we do phase two in 15 months, it's done correctly for the benefit of the kids of the city of Rochester. Let's not allow this train wreck to keep barreling forward into the phase two. Let's make sure it gets done right for the benefit of the kids. And coincidentally, as the head of facilities for the State Department of Education, as he made and he said in his comments during this audit, there have been serious mistakes in process, procedure, and perhaps even integrity of this project. Let's correct the wrongs. Let's allow the investigations to play themselves out. We've got 15 months. There is plenty of time to come back in January or February and make sure this legislation gets done right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I vote in the uh, negative.